Good morrow and well met, citizens of the internet. Uh, today we're gonna do some stuff in this game. Last time I got stuck on this lovely windmill part, but I know the answer, so I'm just gonna do it. I decided if I get stuck in a video, uh, I'm just gonna look it up because I don't, I don't want this LP to go on for like a hundred years with me not being able to figure crap out because I'm not very smart in adventure games. And uh, if I would have inspected this tree, I would have been like, why is there a seam in this tree? That's rather odd. And then I would have been like, oh, I have an ax. So we'll just pretend that's what happened. Right, so apparently that blocks all of the water and now the windmill has stopped turning or the water mill or whatever. The mill has stopped turning. So now we can go in here and get the thingy. Ugh, oh, my goodness, it's so freezing in my house right now. I have the heat up and I'm bundled up and I'm still cold. Okay, so how do we... This is a conundrum I have not yet faced. Connor. How do I actually climb up here, Connor? Uh, Connor? Do I have to like do an epic backflip up there? Oh God, please don't let me get stuck on this. Oh, okay, epic backflip solves everything. Right, let's take this. Tis beyond my reach. Tis beyond my reach. What? Tis beyond my reach. Connor, it's literally right in front of you. Connor? What are you talking about? Tis beyond my reach. Oh. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. When you're near a climbable place, a rope and hook icon will appear in the lower right corner. An arrow behind the icon indicates up and down. Okay. Select the rope and hook from the bottom bar and use it in the place you want to climb, right? Okay, we'll worry about that another time because I don't think I need it anytime soon. At least I don't think I do. Because I also found out that to get on top of the graveyard area, um, I actually don't I don't need the, gra the grappling hook. I need to just jump on it, like Mario style. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to the place where the unicorn was uh, and go to that place that was too hard for me at one point. Um, but we're gonna go the way of the mummies. Oh yeah, and someone told me that I can break these barrels open. And they have loots in them apparently sometimes. But not that one, I guess. There's another one around here as well. Shroom a doom doom dooms. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, that was completely worth it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, person who told me that. This game is continuing to surprise me. It's it's really got a little bit of everything literally in it. Every game, isn't it? Mechanics from everything. All right, so I think right up here is the path that we went and we encountered all the zombies, which previously we couldn't take out, but now, let's see if I can use this. I'm curious. Did that hit him? It did. So how many arrows does it take to kill a zombie? Let's find out. Okay. Oh, I can actually spam? Wow. That's OB, man. OP! Alright, I think there was more though. Oops, almost missed the monies! Don't want to miss any monies. Wasn't there like a couple more that are gonna raise out of the ground? I feel like there was. Oh, by the way, I would like to turn up the speech and the just a little bit, you know, not too much. I feel like, comparative to my voice, it's a little quiet now, but not the music. The music's fine. Because the music does tend to, uh... be louder than I am. Especially this music right here. Alright, so let's, let's hopefully that's a little bit better. You guys can let me know what you think, if you want. I knew it! Connor, where are they? Oh, there they are, okay. 
This axe should deal with them quite nicely. Yes, it deedy do does. It did. All right, feeling pretty powerful now. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing up here. We have the quest for the unicorn already. What we're gonna do is try and kill this Spriggan before he kills us, which may or may not work out in how I plan. Hopefully it does. Yay, it did. Okay, I'm about to level, so I'm not going to... Okay. Oh, hi. Mark, fellow champion. Seek ye the dimension of death. Find the door of divine origin. The urn will reveal the way. The urn will reveal the way. Okay. Is there anything? Hello? Forgive me, Sir Knight, but what should I seek? The dimension of death, Sir Champion. Find the door of divine origin. The urn will reveal the way. The dimension of death? Okay. The door is bolted shut. The tomb of Sir James of Daventry. Hmm. A famous knight of many years are gone. Many years are gone. Well, thank you, Sir Knight. Uh, I shall go this way now. And definitely save first because I do know what's coming in here. So this is, I believe, the castle ruins. Or something like that. And, uh... Then, uh, this, yeah. The, er, the castle keep ruins. Or something like that. Yeah. So there's things in here we need to get, obviously. Let's do this. The old castle keep of Daventry. I should search it thoroughly. Alright, you surprised me last time. Not gonna happen again, sir. <laughs> How about we don't freaking Connor, let's not die here. Okay. We've got an axe. We are all powerful now. We don't need to die. Dying is not what we do anymore, Connor. Okay, there's a chain there. Anything around here that we need? Don't see anything particular. What does this do then? Pull it. Okay. I don't know. Ooh, a stone person. If it is at all within my power, I shall liberate you from this vile condition, good man. Again, he's wearing a skirt. Just want to point that out. You know, everyone who's turned to stone gets to wear a skirt. Okay, just exploring in here in case there's any secrets. Don't see any. Just a room of nothingness. Is there going to be another, uh chain to pull here or oh that looks like it might be a trap Connor hmm. how wouldest we doest this oh maybe that chain dis disarmed it hmm. I don't know sorry if I'm a little sniffly this morning by the way I did wake up with a bit of a s a sniffly problem, so I do apologize if it comes across in my recording. Alright, well, we'll just run for it and see what happens. Ow. This door is well locked. Okay. How do I unlock it? That was kind of close. Is there somewhere that I missed? And what the crap is this up here? Is that a way to go? Or is it just a hole in the ceiling or something? Oh, totally missed these. That would have helped me. Okay. Uh, probably should have noticed those first. I think I can get almost all the way there without triggering the traps. I can still see the doors locked. Alright, what are we missing? Hmm. I clearly am missing a key, right? 
Did I get a key? I don't think I have a key. Did I not? Did I did the did the Spriggan drop a key out here? Did you guys drop a key? Oh, maybe I have to go up here. That was a little close. Scared the crap out of me, by the way. Good thing he has very poor reflexes. It's a great... A great thing indeed. By the way, these, uh... Thingies. Uh, mushrooms hardly heal me at all anymore, which is a bummer. But I might as well use them. You know. I'm not gonna level up in a while, so... Hello, sir! Would you care to die? Okay... I heard money. I heard money! You can't lie to me. I heard it. There it is. It's kind of hard to see things sometimes when they fall. So far there's like nothing up here at all. Which is not very cool. So this is the hallway where I can drop Hello there. Can I not shoot him? I can! Uh, that's cheating, sir. Where is he? Um. Well, I'm just gonna go. See you later. I have a feeling he's gonna pop up behind me or something. That would be bad. I bet you he has the key though. Yep, he's got armor on too. He's definitely like the boss. Okay, there's nothing up here. So I'm gonna have to go kill him then, I suppose. Don't fall off, Connor. We know what happens when you do that. Let's fall down here. And then we go this way. Hello, sir! <coughs> yes! Victory is mine! A leather breastplate will offer some protection. Nice. Now, did you have a key as well? Key. Key. Oh, come on. Connor, tell me he had a key. Where do we get the key? Fudge, what did I miss? Okay, so apparently if we go over here... <clears throat> there is a rock that we can climb to jump on the corner um, of the mausoleum. Which, you know, I never would have guessed because I didn't realize that that was part of the game, jumping on top of things from other things. But now I know. So can we do it from, say, right here? I'm gonna save first, just so I don't have to run all the way back. Cause it's super annoying. Super duper annoying to run all the way back. All right, let's just get the camera correct here, It's a Connor. long jump, uh -huh. but I can make it. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. Okay, I didn't know it though. I actually, <laughs> I cheated, ha uh -huh. Don't tell anyone. Okay. Rawr! Nice one, Connor. You are a total badass, dude. Is this something? What's this little sticky uppy thing here? Nothing? Okay. So, like. Uh. Okay. Walk to the far end of the roof. I'm reading the- I'm reading the thing now. Oh. I could have done a sweet kill move, I guess, if I was right here. It says, get out your dagger, and as you're near the edge, you will automatically drop off and slit the throat. Pick up the crossbow. Exit through the back and avoid the zombies. There weren't any zombies. So I didn't even need to go up here? Oh. So can I not even go this way, then, if... He's not letting me. Oh. Alas, 
The entrance is barred. I thought there would be a way to get in up here, but there's not. Okay. All right. Well, here's the, here's the other thing we need to do. Let's do it. Now we know this. Now we know that we can do this. Okay. Go back to the fountain. Head south. Go to the door. The church is blocked. Yes, the door. That, okay, we can go to the church. That's easy. And that's just over here. Head towards the window. One of those windows? Hang on. Okay, wait. Go to the door in the, in the church that is blocked. Use the rope to climb up the side. Head towards the window. I can climb up the side of the church? Are you serial? Uh, okay. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. There was a little rope and hook. Okay, select the rope and click on the wall. Once climbing position, use the forward and jump keys to climb up and down. All right, I'm trusting you with this, Connor. Oh, sweet. Oh, I'm so glad he does this on his own. <laughs> I'm so glad of that, wow. Okay, progress. Don't ever make that noise again, Connor. Okay, so we're, we're in, all right. All right, now I'm gonna stop reading the, reading the walkthrough because I think I can make a slight bit of progress without doing so. Just in case there's bad guys, let's use to get our ax out. Ow. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have kept leading, reading the walkthrough then. <laughs> Important part of that is a long jump, but I can is make it. Use your freaking rope to climb down. Damn it, Connor! Damn it! Damn it! Because uh, once I learn the engine and all the different things I can do, I assume I'll be better at figuring things out, but wow. So far, so far I'm a clueless, usually, which I feel really bad about. So hopefully you guys don't mind me looking things up once in a while. I am really hoping so. Sorry if you do, but if, if, if I didn't, I would be making absolutely no progress. And it would be really frustrating to watch, I think. If I wasn't doing a let's play of this, I probably would try and make myself struggle and figure things out, but... Uh... Since I'm not... Okay. I am not near anything to climb. But it just said... Connor, it just said... There it is. Uh, no. How do I get... How do I... Connor? What the... What the... Now I don't want to go back down that way. Connor! Go back up, Connor. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna save now that I'm up here. This is very, very, uh, you know, brain heavy right here. <laughs> Can I go somewhere else, like over here and do it, maybe? And the diff there we go, okay, this must be the place. Yeah, here we go, all right. I was on the wrong side of the wall. So the game has just parts of a wall that you can use the climbing thing on. So you just gotta find the sweet spot. It's basically how it works. Also, Connor dies when he falls like 10 feet. So I should remember that. Okay, we got our hook back. We are in. Oh, this is pretty music. Let's turn it up. Oh no, it's the priest! Not even a priest is immune to this vile affliction which infects us. I swear, Father, that you shall walk upon our fair land once more while there is still breath left in me. Alright, let's explore. Can't open that, I suppose. Alack, the evil tempest has damaged the church. Now the door is blocked. The door is blocked. Oh! I carry a sacred flame. Oh, well that's nice. Okay. It's a sacred flame. Arms for the poor. Hmm. Do it. 
Do it, Connor. Arms for the poor. Hmm. Do it. Arms for the poor. Take the money, Connor. Hmm. We need it for our quest. Dang it. I am not near anything to climb. Can I smash it? Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> you know he was thinking it, right? You know he was thinking it. He was. Alright. What do we got in here? It's a little bit hard to turn the camera sometimes. Oh! There's an urn! There's an urn! So what do we do with the urn? It appears to be an urn. It does appear to be an urn. Oh! Okay. Oh my god, what? Ooh. I think there was a hole in the glass so I could see what happened there. Alright, well, that was easy. Connor just solved the puzzle by himself. Thanks, Connor. Appreciate it. I am not near anything to climb. Yeah, you are. I this... am not near anything to climb. Yes, you are, Connor. Do it, damn it. Upsy daisy do climb the wall for you. Ah. And we're gonna have to climb back down and all that jazz. I wonder what I get to use the sacred candle for. It's super sacred. I am so glad that the game does this <laughs> automatically. I was so worried that it was gonna be really, really dumb. But it's fine, it's totally fine. And easy and simple, and I love it like that. Thank you, game. Okay, so now, do I have a choice of I could just go this way, and then if there are zombies, which there probably are by now, I could just avoid them, I'm guessing. Probably why this was so boring before is because I hadn't done that part, so I'm guessing now... Zombies? Maybe? Zombie? Yep, there they go. I could kill the zombies, you know, and get experience. Is that is that something I might want to do? I don't know. We're just gonna go. See you later, suckers. Ooh. All right, we'll just go, I guess. Okay. Wow, that was a little weird. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh. Ghost monkey? Ouch. My weapon. It passed right through it. No! We need a magical weapon to deal with Gad, that. Dark monster. Eating the flesh nor blood. What now? Egads! Anything in here worth of note? All right, so we can't go in there yet, I guess because we don't have a magic weapon to deal with that monster. At least that's what my D and D skills tell me. Raven, you watch oh. me. Why? Uh, Connor, just saying. There's zombies. Oh, okay, thanks. All right, so the Raven means go to the wizard, so that's what we're gonna do. Bye, zombies. See you later. Also, I call that progress, so let's save. Not sure if we're gonna have to go back in there, I assume so, but the zombies are easy enough to avoid, so it's fine. And he's right here, that's nice. Hello there. Ah, I see you have seen fit to return and finish our previous discussion. As I was saying, you lad, have been chosen to perform the sacred task of finding the remaining pieces of the Mask of Eternity and then returning the mask to its most holy sanctuary. Aye, thank you, sir. Good wizard, I beseech you, give me guidance. I have discovered the portal to the dimension of death, but upon entering it, have encountered a foul beast of darkness. Aye, the dimension of death. It is said a monstrous shadow bane guards the threshold, and that it cannot be slain by any weapon. 
It can only be dispelled through the means of magical illumination. Hmm. But where can such be found? I can concoct a magical illumination spell, lad. Go, bring me a flame from a sacred place. Got it. The ring of a dead hero. Don't got it. And the ashes of a torch. Don't Aye, got sir it. wizard. Twill be done. Oh, God. Ashes in a ring? Well, the ring is obviously going to be... Um... Will he tell Pardon me? me, good wizard. May I inquire again those items which I must gain? I don't and think he's—he's he's not going to tell me where they are. Okay, so I'm guessing, Connor. Why aren't you moving, Connor? Connor, what's wrong, Connor? Why are you stuck, buddy? Uh oh, I bugged it out. La 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 la. Uh, Connor is, you know, kind of freaking out here. A... Oh God. Well, don't do that. Uh, let's try, um, I wonder if this game is one that will allow you to just save and reload and then fix stuff like that, since it's just, you know, kind of an animation bug. Hopefully that works. Nope. All right, then. God damn it. All righty. Now that that's over with, <laughs> and hopefully I remember to edit that bit out. I think I can guess where we are going to get the ring, since it was like a ring of a fallen hero or whatever, that's, it's gotta be Sir James, right? So let's go back to Sir James and ask him about that. He's all the way up here. We're almost level seven. We're so epic elite, we have nine armor and 50 attack. The range weapon seems like it's gonna be super OP for, uh, Monsters that move really slowly, by the way. It does a lot less damage, but it's really, you know, you can you can pretty much use it from wherever. So we could we could cheese the pathing of enemies and stuff. Okay, so if we go up here again, we should be able to talk to Sir James, hopefully, and he'll just be like, oh, you need it for your noble quest? Sure, here you go, friend, and then he'll just give it to me. That's what's gonna happen, right? Most definitely. Dead zombies in my path that I have slain before. Good thing there aren't more respawning zombies. I don't know if I should have killed the zombies in the graveyard or not for experience. Maybe I should have. Hello, Sir James. Just in case your dialogue gets bugged out, I'm going to save the game. Excuse me. Sir Knight, I have found the portal to the dimension of death, but unhappily a foul beast of darkness guards it. Would you know how to defeat it? The bane of shadows and death hath no element. I know not. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Well, um... The tomb of Sir James of Daventry. Hmm. The famous knight of many years are gone. He knows not. But he has a ring. You're the only you're the only freaking fallen hero in this land, okay? The door is bolted shut. Can I just smack it down? Is it that easy? Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, holy crap. Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. uh Please don't be mad at me when I do this. This must be the sarcophagus of Sir James. Uh, is he gonna really be pissed at me? I would. This must be the sarcophagus of Sir James. Can I? Okay, that's not, that's not a thing. How about the torches? Torches, Connor? No? Okay. This torch. Oh. Uh... Uh, oh, okay. Ew, he's all dead and stuff. Gross. Forgive me, Great Knight, but I will need your ring in order to achieve my quest. I carry a hero's ring. 
I like how his ring was like the size of a bracelet laying on top of his face. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. Hi, thank you. Sir Knight, I have found the portal to the dimension of death. He doesn't care, but Connor. Unhappily, a foul beast of darkness guards it. Would you know how to defeat it? The bane of shadows and death hath no element. I know not. Okay, he knows not. All right, so we have the ring. Ah, oh, crap! <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm really in a weird frame of mind today for playing this. I think it's because I got stuck a lot, so now I'm kind of just, like, eager to continue. Uh, but it's fine. So now, we got a ring. We have a candle. Now we need some ashes. Where would we get ashes? Where? I can't think of anything. The only place that, place that I couldn't get to so far is the waterfall, right? And Castle Daventry. But I'm guessing the waterfall leads there, but it's blocked off. So I have a few more items since I tried to get into the waterfall last time. So I could try and do that. Otherwise, I could try and get to this place. Like, I don't I think this is the wizard's house, maybe. But I don't know how I would do that. I think our best bet's probably the waterfall. So let's go try and do that. Although I feel like the castle daventry is like the next area. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know, bro. We'll find out. Is there rocks that can climb? Probably not. That's definitely not a rock I can climb. Maybe these rocks, though. Let's, let's move around the edges and look for a grappling hook location. Could be one. The force of the water is too great. I cannot get through it. I know, Kana. We've established- Oh! Oh! Oh, look! Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I feel so freaking smart right now. But does that actually... Oh. Hello, friend. If it is at all within my power, I shall liberate you from this vile condition, good man. All right. We're saving. I'll just... Ring of Waterfalls. I don't need to put numbers, I don't think, because it puts them in that order anyways. Okay. Now. What do we do here? Push. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> that is what we do. Yes! Victory is mine! Now I can get through. Excellent. It worked. Yes! We're so smart, Connor! Man, making progress in this game feels so great. So great! I don't even care if I have to use the walkthrough for parts of it. I don't even care! This part I figured out myself and I feel so smart. I don't know where the ashes are going to be in here, but, uh, yeah, we'll find out, I guess, right? It's got to be, because it's the only other place I haven't been. Connor, please get, please frickin' thank you. All right, creepy, creepy tunnel. Uh, yeah. Sweet. A new area, everyone! It's so exciting! Removing old files? Why? Just add more files. That's a weird game. Copying files to your hard drive. This must be Castle Daventry. Now, to find the king. To find the king? Okay. That's something new. Ring of Find the King. Ha ha, it's a rhyme. We're gonna walk because it's all like super epic and tunnely and stuff. Uh, okay. I am not close enough. It's a very ominous, different looking candle, which was clearly a switch. 
Oh my god, look, it's the previous... It's King Graham. And that lady. I've never played the other King's Quest games, so I just know King Graham has a sweet hat, so I know that's him. Okay. I'm sure there will be lots of other characters in this game that players of the previous games will definitely recognize. You got anything to say about that? That portrait of King Graham looks slightly off-center. Oh, really? It is a lovely portrait of Her Majesty Queen Valenice. Queen of Valenice. Can we push this then, Connor? Is it? Hmm. That portrait of King Graham looks slightly off-center. Maybe there's a secret behind it, Connor. What's this on the floor? Oh! Really? That's ashes? I bear ashes from a torch. Oh, well, that was freaking easy. Well, while we're here, we might as well look for the king, because apparently... Oh, okay. There he is. That wasn't hard either. Oh my goodness. Everyone is turned to stone! It's so sad! I wonder why Connor was ex exempt from the stone turning. Even your sword could not save you from this affliction. I know not how, but I shall save you from this evil plight. Yes, Connor, I know you just want to save everyone. Okay, hi, King. Alas, even King Graham... Oh, whoops, I wanted to read that. I just wanted to look at your face. Alas, even King Graham was no match against the evil magic. I vow to you, my lord, with all my heart, that I will place myself in mortal jeopardy before giving in to the vile forces which hold you in thrall. I swear it. Wow. This is a loyal servant right here. I vow I will not stop, sir, until you walk our sweet land once more. You and the good people of Daventry deserve nothing less. You are, like, insanely good-natured, Connor. It's a little creepy. Handle? Hello, portal of death? Uh-huh. Mortal, uh... dost thou presume to foil me? Ha! Go run to thy mother, strip. <laughs> what? Who are you? <laughs> okay, samurai old man. Okay, I heard evil things. I heard evil things. I heard evil things. Yes, indeed, he do does. Is this blocked off, Connor? That door is blocked. Yep. I should look elsewhere. Thank you for verifying that, Connor. All right, let's let's save the game. Luckily, there's not too much going on here, so we can get the ashes and kind of GTFO. No bad guys. But I'm wondering about this picture. Okay, clearly nothing right now. Maybe later on we come back and it's and that is something possibly. Maybe. All right, let's go back to the wizard. I'm sure he's patiently waiting for us, or impatiently waiting. Probably very uncomfortable being half stone and half not stone. You know. What if you had an itch? What would you do? That would be horrible. Hopefully the stone parts of you just stop itching because they're all stone. Or maybe they're just encased in stone, so maybe, like, their actual bodies are underneath the stone. In which case, that would suck really bad because then you would ha you'd have to, like, just wait. You'd have- your brain would be functioning and everything. You'd just be, like, in a coma. It'd be horrible, man. It'd be to so horrible. Let's not think about that. I'm sure this game doesn't intend you to go that much in detail with it. Uh, there's, like, stone change, stone change over there on the right. Okay, come on, game. Thank you. The value of my gold currency. All right, so how do we combine this then? Heat up the ring. I carry a sacred flame. I carry a hero's ring. Maybe we just have to bring it back to him, but un uncombined. That's probably what it is. And he'll he'll make it himself. He's a smart wizard. All right, so we can actually just follow the river and get back down. That should be the easiest way. Hopefully. Run, run, run. Hey, Connor, like to run. You're so good at running, Connor. Jump over the sea. Oh, he didn't jump. Oh, because I pressed the wrong button. That's why. <laughs> Oops. It was just for funsies anyway. 
Funsies. Dead goblin. All right. Hopefully we can swim across. Let's save in case we die in the water because I've never, you know, I've never tried to swim across the deep part, I don't think, so. There he is, he's right here. So apparently the water's not very deep at all. That's good. Hello, oh wise wizard. That if it weren't for you, that everything would be screwed. Pardon me, good wizard, but may I inquire again those items which I must gain and return to you? Seek you a flame from a sea. Well then, off with you. Return when you wish to converse further. Let me just make sure I'm not stuck. So I have to give him the items, I think, like, you know, a proper adventure game style. So let's do that. I have found torch ashes. Will this work? Aye, lad. Twill work wonders. Twill work wonders. Sir Wizard, I have gained a ring from a noble knight long deceased. Aye, tis good, lad. Lo. I have obtained a sacred flame from the church. Good work, lad. Good. All three items. Now, lad, behold. By all the spirits of the light, brighten the darkness of the night. Whoa! <laughs> it looks like a cookie. Thank you, good wizard. Your help has been immeasurable. Okay. May we meet again in better times. Uh, here it is. I possess a magical ring of illumination. Yay! Okay, so... Now I assume this is legit, like, the end of the level. So... I may want to look at the walkthrough and see if I missed anything. Because I'd like to get all the items I can get, and I don't want to miss, like, any armor or anything. Uh, okay, I'll be right back.